right. Obviously, um, excited about what uh, our football team uh, did for, for most of the, the 60 minutes to, to today. Particularly the last 48 hours uh, shows up in, on the field, and, and uh, we were our best that we've been since I, I've been here, and, and uh, uh, excited for the guys. Uh, um, this was uh, one that uh, was important to our, our program, and, and uh, as we continue to grow and build, and, and uh, you know, thought offense and defense did uh, a ton of really good things in the first half. Um, in most of the second half, too, uh, there's some things that we got to clean up on special teams, um, but uh, a ton of positives here. So um, good win for our program and, and uh, opportunity for us to grow. Uh, guys need to enjoy this one, um, you know, today and, and, uh, and then move on and get better and get ready for the next one. Questions? We'll start with Wes Rucker, then we'll go to Adam Sparks. Yeah, Josh, I guess it, it's more than just the quarterback, but but what did you think you saw from Hendon today? The numbers themselves look really good and the accuracy seemed to be there most of the day. I thought as much as anything, just great poise and understanding and command of, of what we're, we're doing. Um, you know, they came out in a different uh, structure in, in the core and, and uh, with some of our run games, got his eyes in the right place to to the to control an extra defender. Um, you know, I thought in the past game, he did a great job, was accurate and decisive uh, all day long and uh, used his feet uh, opportunistically. And, and uh, you know, it was a huge part of us uh, getting going early in the football game. Yeah, Josh, when you took this job and you envisioned what your, your type of team, type of offense would look like, how close did this performance mimic what you thought it should look like? Yeah, obviously some really, really positive things uh, today. Uh, the ability to run the football, uh, the ability to, to stretch the field vertically, uh, to be accurate and consistent, and, and uh, uh, to be good on uh, the few third downs that we had. Um, but I, I really, I said this to the players too, we're just, this is the, the tip of the iceberg. We're just scratching the surface of, of what we are, are capable of. There's a whole lot more uh, for us in, in our growth. And um, I enjoy this one because they're come, they're hard to come by, but uh, um, no different than uh, than the previous week. Let's come back on Monday and let's uh, let's get better. If our kids continue to buy into to that process and, and that mentality, uh, we're going to continue to grow through this season. David Pascal and Trey Wallace. Hey Josh, obviously you continued with the theme, wanting to get as good as you can as quickly as you can. I know this is just a sixty minute game, but how do you think? What, what does this mean on that front, do you think? Well, uh, the, the season is filled of, uh, of one-game seasons. Um, you know, you look at scores across the country week to week, um, there's going to be variance in, in, in those. And <clears throat> for us, it, it's about a one-day mentality, one-week approach, um, continuing to grow. And when I say that we're in a race against ourselves to become as good as we can, as fast as we can, I mean, there, there's just an intrinsic internal battle. You're fighting with yourself to, to push yourself to become your best. And today, uh, from last week to, the, to today, there was a ton of growth. Um, and and that sh most of it's off the field and, and in our preparation. Our guys have had really good practice habits, but we continue to grow. I thought the last 48 hours were absolutely our best. Those things show up in how you play on the field, too. So um, excited that uh, our kids got this result. Um, at the same time, uh, I believe that they know and our coaches know, too, we got to come back and, and get better on Monday. Hey, Josh, what, what does it say for your team where you, you had those injuries today along the offensive line, some on the defensive line, but other guys stepped up? You know, even Aaron Beasley, Solomon Page at the linebacker spot, and, and even on the offensive line, uh, were you able to rush for so many yards without your starting center? Uh, what does it say about their tenacity and strength just to fight back in those certain situations? Yeah, strength of one position or one spot can never be one guy. Uh, next man up mentality. I thought for the most part, our guys were ready when their opportunity had come. They played at a really high level today and, and, uh, and went out and executed in particular on the offensive line. Um, you saw that happen uh, with the D-line, with Elijah getting nicked up early too, uh, obviously at linebacker. Um, <clears throat> we got to continue to push and our young guys got to grow because they're going to have to play real meaningful snaps. And, and uh, there were a lot of positives today uh, in that aspect of, of guys stepping up and, and being ready to play. Mike Wilson and Ben McKee. Yeah, Josh, what allowed you from the run game perspective to be so successful today? And then Jabari left the game pretty early and didn't come back. Is he healthy? Yeah, um, I will find out more on, on Jabari here as we, we go through the weekend and the early part of next week. 
Um, you know, you saw a few guys kind of um, get nicked up. A couple of them could have came back, we think, but uh, uh, held them. Um, but we'll find out more on, on those guys as the, the week goes on. Um, your original question, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm going to ask you to repeat that. Yeah, no problem. Just what allowed the run game to find so much success today? Yeah, um, really uh, different defensive structure early in the, in the football game. I thought our kids handled it and, and, and communicated and got on the right guys and their doubles went to the right guys, which sounds easy. It's really hard to do. I, I thought they handled that well in the, the early part of the football game. Um, we were cleaner um, inside and, and on the edges. And, and when you do that, you give your running backs more space. I thought early in the football game, Jabari and Tyon did a great job of pressing the line of scrimmage, understanding the scheme and how it was being blocked and, and where, to, where to press it. And then the read take you to, to your next cut. And, and uh, then, you know, we were able to create some big explosive plays too, which I would assume, uh, not having watched the tape yet, but our guys on the perimeter are probably doing a really good job in the run game blocking too to allow, allow some of those big runs down the football field. Josh, wanted to ask you about a couple of those youngsters that were filling in today. Just what did you see from Laneith Whitehead and then on, on defense to Marion McDonald and Christian Charles? Yeah, um, Laneith, you know, didn't get any reps, um, you know, coming back from shoulder surgery during the course of spring ball. Didn't know what we were really getting as a player. Just from first day of training camp to, to now, just – Man, he's got great work habits and and uh, it's starting to really grow. And, and I feel like there was growth early, but I feel like he's starting to pick up speed speed in, in his acceleration as, as a football player and what we're doing offensively and understanding how to play the running back position. Uh, a lot of really good things from, from him during the course of play today. Uh, Christian Charles is a young guy that uh, is going to be a great player here. Uh, you guys have seen him uh, be really consistent on special teams, make plays, got an opportunity today. I uh, thought early in the football game, did a good job at the safety spot. T-Mac, man, I love that kid. Uh, just the way he pushes and competes and plays. Um, you guys see that on special teams. Great to see him get an opportunity at safety. I thought there were a lot of positives early uh, from, from him. A um, couple of things maybe in the past game that uh, late in the ball game he can clean up. Patrick Brown. And Patrick. <clears throat> yeah, Coach, this is your – First SEC win at Tennessee, does it take any extra value? Do you let yourself enjoy it maybe a little more today before kind of moving on? Not really. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this one, take a shower, get on the bus, start watching the film, and, and uh, we'll start corrections from there. But, uh, um, you know, it was great, you know, nothing personal for me really in this other than, um, you know, I, I wanted – I wanted our players to get a result that uh, that showed the type of work that they're putting in. And, uh, you know, sometimes the, the results come when they come. But uh, our guys have been continuing to, to grow together, continuing to compete, continue to grow, uh, or buy into to, uh, what it takes to, to play at a consistent high level. And, and uh, this was good growth this week. Excited for them. And, and, uh, and then uh, ready to get back on a, on a plane, get back to Knoxville, and get ready for the next one. Hi, Josh. That was your, uh, your first trip back to, to Furrow Field since, since leaving here. Uh, surprised at all that it was made this easy for you? I'm sorry, what was that last were part? You, were you surprised at all that it was at times this easy for you today? Yeah, there's, even when it looks easy, uh, there's nothing easy in, the, in, the, in this football uh, game, uh, not in this conference. And, and uh, um, you know, you need to, to be able to come, play, uh, come back to a place that, uh, you know, we spent a couple of years as a family, loved. Um, you know, our time here and, and uh, what we were a part of, of building uh, inside of this program. Got a chance to see a handful of guys that uh, were still here, um, you know, when uh, when I was here and, and uh, enjoyed those moments to have an opportunity to speak with those guys too. Adam Sparks and back to David Pascal. Yeah, Josh, I know every week is different, but uh, can you use this as a template for games moving forward with your guys? Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> we can use it as a template in how we prepare. A absolutely, um, you know, the the type of focus and, and strain that you have to put in every single day, uh, what it looks like in the locker room when you get to the stadium, um, you know, getting off the bus before kickoff, you know, what it looks like in the hotel on, on Friday night and, and Saturday morning. Absolutely, can use that as a template. Um, you know, the, the scheme and all that, yeah, it's a part of who we are and, and our guys are playing really hard. So in that way, yes, um, 
but you got to fight for it every week, man. Um, it, this is a this is a tough game played by tough men. Uh, you got to be prepared and and uh, be ready to go. Josh, I know the offensive numbers were pretty eye popping. Just kind of wanted an overall assessment of the day. I think you had five lost yardage stops in that first quarter. You had a couple of interceptions, and I think that for most of the game, they just only had that one offensive score. Yeah, I, I thought defensively we played uh, really well. Um, you know, after uh, their initial touchdown, uh, I thought we played uh, with suffocating uh, energy and and uh, and strain to the football. Um, you know, it wasn't just one guy making a tackle. There were a bunch of guys there. White shirts were were breaking from uh, from the core on, on pass plays. Thought we played tight coverage. I thought we lost some guys in the middle of the field on uh, on scrambles and and maybe a boot over. Um, but for the most part, uh, a, a lot of really good things. Thought we, you know, their, their outside zone run game had been a huge part of what they had done. I, I thought we handled that pretty well uh, for most of the day. Last question, Wes Rucker. Yeah, Josh, I know that I'm, I'm sure you all look at every player as not a scholarship guy or a walk-on guy, but, but <laughs> Pierce is a guy who's been a, a walk-on, obviously, at Tennessee. For What have you seen from him to, to keep him in the mix? And what do you think of a guy like that getting in the end zone today? Yeah, once you're here, it doesn't matter. You're part of the Tennessee football program. Uh, everything's earned uh, once you step inside of our, our building. Uh, he's a guy that's just been super consistent. Uh, he hasn't missed anything since I've, I've gotten here. Uh, he cares about his teammates. He's going to give you everything that he has every minute of every day. He understands and knows his job inside and out and, uh, you know, cares about his teammates, man. Like the way that he is on the practice field, cheering and, and encouraging guys uh, to the way that he is uh, on the sideline on game day. Um, next man up, he gets his opportunity, takes, uh, takes full advantage of it. Thank you, Coach. We'll have players shortly. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.